I'm not familiar with that song. Oh, not the sheep. Uh, what's the... Oh, it's Chaos Pit, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Alright, good, good, good. People in Norway recognize me, no. But I got recognized on the airport, traveling to London. So it happens sometimes, but... In Norway, I mean, I've been recognized in Norway as well. But more often it's abroad than in Norway, I would say. Are there boars on this map? I'm starting to think there aren't, because I can't see any. Your gun is quite nice here, because you, you can chop out quite fast. Wait, what? Uh, this is weird. This is not how I remember it to be. One, two, three. Ah, shit, this is bad. Four. Okay, we have to do four trees. That's fine, that's fine. Hopefully. It's definitely a sheep in this map. Yeah, it seems like there are no boars. Yeah, we have to go here, 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 and here to get out. I'm not sure if that shift queuing works 100%, uh, but we'll try to keep an eye on it. Is he lame, my dear? Where are they running? Okay. Wants to eat the deer. I think repairing it is more. He's losing more resources than I am by having three villagers idle. I believe. This one is not pretty. What is this? Do berries always spawn forward? Question mark. I kind of get the feeling they do. I'm not sure why this is happening. What is this bad thing? This game seems over. Why would you think that? You see how many bills he has idle, right? He thinks it's worth it considering his burgundy is to keep in dark as long as possible. But he's losing so much gathering time with what he's doing. 
Of course I am as well, but like... Now let's not do a bit X. Question now is how long is he stuck in Dark Edge himself? After this, Where is he even taking wood? Also, it looks like he had one bears to the back. I think. He got double bear axe and horse collar. It should be ahead no matter what. I'm not sure if it's that simple. Also, it doesn't look like he has chopped out. What are you guys doing? It doesn't look to me like he has chopped out anywhere. So I didn't see a lumber camp on the back side. He has to have a lumber camp though, right? What? Where the hell is he taking wood? Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, is there a village coming? <laughs> Looks like he's already through. My villager is choosing to go back to the middle. Yeah, yeah. Where is gold? He just wants to get to uh, those guys. What are they called? Just the yeah. Oh, true. My blacksmith is my bla my blacksmith is super cheap. I forgot about that. Gold. One gold missing. Too bad. Too bad, very sad. 
Mm, I think now it might be playing in his favor. Still don't know if I think all the, the stuff he did in, at the start was worth it. Maybe. It's also another one where it's like I had both my berries spawning on the same spot while well, he has berries in the back and front. I really don't like the RNG in those types of things. Because honestly, like if I had the safe berries in the back as well, I think my opening and everything would have been so much better compared to what it is now. I think I want this. Oh, I'm eating this beer. It's unnecessary. Would surprise me if he's not up at this point. Try to bar way up, get... I mean, late game, our save is definitely better if it goes like post, post imp. So in theory, the longer the game goes, it's not too bad for me. He has a market himself. Is there a stone on the outside, I wonder? Probably is, right? Like how aggressive Jordan's playing, this is good practice usually struggle against such plays. I think this game is a special case. I'm not sure how many people plays the way Jordan plays on this map. It's like Lix and Rubenstock maybe. So it's very, very unique, let's say. Um, also, I'm still not sure if it was worth it. Like, imagine I had bears. Maybe he scouted both bears on the front, and that's why he did it. But I, I think if I had bears on the back, like one bears on the back, would have made things so much easier for me. Okay, this is a bit awkward. The fact that he has stable there and I don't have enough stone for a castle. Maybe I'm fine game being castle dropped. And I just put TCs on the outside or whatnot. I'm going monastery anyway. But I would like to trade away his skirms so he can't snipe my my pikes so easily. Doesn't Jordan have to be aggressive due to save advantage of late game? 
Yeah, but usually the, the type of aggression he did is it's very um I say it's not the your typical everyday Joe kind of stuff thing. Do I wanna go defensive castle there? Let's do it. This is probably unnecessary by me. I, I didn't have to take this risk that I'm doing right now. This was super unnecessary in hindsight. I did not need to, to deny this castle. I could have gone back and just built town centers. Definitely a wrong call by me. That was committed. I'm going petards as well. I wanna, I wanna get rid of that castle. It's building close to the yeah. Oh. This guy could be really annoying, because he pimp almost one shots villagers. Could be really annoying. How many do we have? That cast is almost down already. Yeah, that's one that's gonna go down. So maybe, maybe in hindsight it was worth it to do the counter castle. I don't know, man. Oh, I made one petar too many. Hmm. It's like an interesting game right now. Build a gate, don't let him go outside. What do you mean? Oh, here? No, I already walled. Like, this whole side is walled to my farms. So if he tries to go outside now... Um, it's not really gonna have the greatest benefits. Wait, is he going fast imp? He just clicked up. I feel like he's going imp. He's probably building a castle, going imp and doing traps. Hmm. I'm gonna stay castle at double university, get chemistry, and take it from there. I feel like he's going fast imp. Got him. This could be the wrong call by me to stay castledge. We'll find out. Uh, you know what? Let's go for this one. Oh, 
Stavím, jsem připraven. Stavím. Jsem připravena. Stavím. Jsem připravena. Stavím. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the third MVP, man. Uh, do I even want hand cleaners anymore? I guess we can make a couple. It doesn't hurt. One man, get down some hand cleaners. Then we can actually start doing things on the side. I didn't see that. Well, we can free this guy easily. It's my relic now. He escaped. It's full range, so he's probably going hand corners, right? We can just go skirms. Okay, we'll probably want to make sure this one stays alive for a while. Anyway. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oops. Probably won't stay alive for long though. It's walling off that side as well. I mean, the walls here don't really help much because Onagers will easily cut open anything that we want. Yeah, it's going hand cannoners. And I feel like skirms will be a, a good choice here. Ooh. Super strong. I don't think he's gonna be able to make Kustelir right off the bat. He might be able to down the road. But for now, I'm not expecting Kustelir. Try sneak of a range down there. Just us. Oh, not like this. Score is getting closer though. Which is not good for me. Oh, 
Co bá to běhu pnice, jo? Shoot! He really wants to uh... Nice. He wants to get my uh... Oh! How did this guy take so much damage? Holy Oh, run. <laughs> Why they don't shoot? I hate that delay they get sometimes. I think we're still fine. Hopefully. Get him. He was busy with that. Good stuff. Oh no. It's Paladin. Shoot. So I think we got an okay trade there. Obviously, we'll see a bit of a score switch right now. I also knew that was coming, so it was very bad by me to not have actually prepared a little bit harder for that. Trade with each other? Why not? I realize now my food eco probably isn't the best either. That was very, very bad. On my end. Actually, stabilize this. Population is still healthy. Just not that pretty anymore. Want those guys to be part of the group? Why not use them if they are for free? Who? Hey, what? What do you mean? Oh, this is bad. Control groups are also a bit all over the place. Oh, 
Why help? Too expensive. Why no help? I have helped. Yeah. Okay, he has a lot of resources still there. Yeah, like, yeah, I got the worst stick when it comes. I mean, I still have gold there. I should be fine, maybe. Okay. He is mixing helps as well, though. So there's that. So you have a lot of resources, just need to find a way to spend them. You cannot drop a castle, he's building a castle there, so let's drop a castle there. Oh, it's Seagrook Shop, okay. Almost the same. Mega random? No, this is a chaos pit. How is he entering from there? Gate is closed, so why does he have units there? I should have walled this as well. Makes sense. Kind of goes without saying. Let's send this code here. Do we need to? Oh, we don't need to. <gasps> no! I heard the Flemish! Not the Flemish. I heard the Flemish. I'm scared. See if I can snipe some of those now. That would be pretty cool. I think we need a second castle here. We need to keep our hoof needs here alive. That's a big uh, must. Oh, I don't have conscription. Or the unique tech for that matter. I may have killed more of my own units there. Kind of his. There's a 1 HP dude in there. I think we got him. No, he's there, he's there. Get him, get him, get him. It's a 1 HP guy. Woo! 
This castle is probably going to be a goner. My whole eco looks to be a potential goner as well at this rate. Just kill his siege. Okay, let me just do that. Easier said than done. The current uh, climate. Yeah, I think we're dead here. I would imagine he had an okay bank when he did this as well. To make sure that he could produce. Even though the most of his... You know what? Most of his stuff is... Uh, but I'm gonna lose this one. This castle I can't afford to lose. That one goes down, I have no defense anymore. Nice. Although there's still units there. Oh, I lost my ca Oops. Okay, let's call it. That's not a fun one. I really wonder if the Dark Age stuff it actually paid off. I don't actually think the Dark Age thing was good for him. But uh, I think I just messed up the follow-up myself. I think the castle was probably the right response. But I think, I i mean, it was so obvious he was switching into Paladin, right? And I didn't do anything about it. I wasted five Hufnitze there. I think also I didn't, I think as well, it was a big mistake to do Hufnitze before you have all the other technologies done, right? Hufnitze doesn't win or lose the game there. Having Halberdier wins or loses, oh, wins or loses the game there, possibly. The economy were actually, I think we had a better eco overall. Let's see, so mid feudal age. Probably have roughly the same villagers. As we hit Imperial Age, I have more wills. So yeah, I think it's just the lazy tech switch. Reaction to his cap switch was a bit slow. It was a, uh, he is on 80 pop by the way. I, I still think I wouldn't be able to, ah, uh, you know what, maybe. Wait, let me see. I actually have a pop advantage, yeah. But he has such a big army, right? I will lose this castle. And then this is still enough to actually finish off most of my eco. And it's not only that. It's like my whole production is here. So he's sitting on top of my production. This map could be good with poles. Yeah, for sure. Poles could be really good here. Was the game really over? Yeah, it is over now. I don't, I don't think I can come back from here. Like, these traps and those two bomber cannons will clean up all my town centers. And there is a sitting on top of my production. And like... Sure, I have 26 wheels working here and like another 30 there, but he is also booming behind this. I'm not sure how good his, his economy was. He had no food. Mm. Maybe he could have still played on best. I still think it would be really hard to make a comeback here. Maybe it would have made sense to try a little bit longer though, but it doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, I still don't think the Dark Age stuff he did was actually good. And it's, also, it's just super sloppy by me to actually not make Halberdier switch earlier. Because if I spend the resources I spent on Hufnitze on Halberdier switch instead, I don't think there's ever a moment where he pushes us back like he did. So I think we were ahead economically as well. Keep in mind, we have the, we have the, we have the uh, faster moving villagers, which I think are really good for economy boost on this map. You think you could have walled outside earlier? I don't think it mattered. was a really good game though.